friends, welcome back to my channel. Hello, hello, hello. For those of you who are new, hello, my name is Dominique AD. I'm the creator and owner of D Mokia Art. Woohoo! Okay, April. April. I've got a lot of fun stuff going on in April. As you've seen from the title, we're moving on to step. Are we on step three? We're on part three of the log on. <laughs> sandpapering and painting those clay magnets and keychains so we're gonna jump back on that so I'm gonna show you guys the paint I'm using I'm gonna show you guys the type of sandpaper I'm gonna be using and hopefully these things come out right because this is my first time creating them if you guys have not seen part one and two check them out um, under my channel you'll see the other two parts up there check them out check out the materials I'm using step by step follow along follow along if you're interested in getting your hands dirty in some clay uh, this month we're gonna do that April April we're focusing on that um, also I've been in the mood to see if I have a green thumb I want to plant something this year I'm just in the mood to help the environment somehow I want to plant something and I want to plant a flower a flower so I went to my local Dollar Tree right and I love sunflowers so I got two of these babies and I'm gonna try and plant these I have a giant um, pot outside for flowers and I'm glad it's giant because I just realized this says um, mammoth Russian sunflower, which sunflowers can get really freaking big. <laughs> so I'm um, not saying that mine will probably get that big. I'm not even sure if mine are even going to grow because I have no green thumb. I am like a cactus buyer or a succulent buyer. Those are like the easiest plants to take care of. I'm starting from the seeds, <laughs> so um, I'm going to take you guys along with me on that and see how this goes. Uh, we're going to start with sowing the seeds, which I hope that means um, I'm going to use the old uh, wet napkin and Ziploc bag technique with that, but I will definitely research a little bit more on that, updates on that. Next, something else fun, as you guys know, I love to read. Um, I don't want to talk too much about books on here because this is solely about the art journey, but reading is also a part of my life. It's also part of my behind the scenes of the artist. So I ran into, on my bookstagram, an old school April readathon. You guys, it's all about nostalgic things and I'm loving it. Um, this is by... Um, Kelsey. I'll put her Instagram up here and the hashtag of the whole readathon. Absolutely fun. She has these free prompts up there. Um, I'm so glad this is a free readathon for everyone to join. So I'm really grateful for that. She took the time to make these awesome prompt lists. It's absolutely cool. Uh, I printed them out. Anyone has access to the little Google Drive if you're interested in joining. And it's not just books. She also has old school fun activities and snacks and things. So starting right off the bat, I did the Hungry Hippo Consume Any Nostalgic Snack. And I had the Ritz with the cheese. I love those. I love Ritz. I love Ritz. Um, it's the Ritz with the cheese with the little red stick. You spread the cheese on the cracker. That was already a point. Um, there's also a team so you can join. Um, oh my goodness, what was it? Legends? The show Legends on Nickelodeon back in the day where they had like um, the blue barracudas. They had the silver snakes, the purple parrots. I'm part of the purple parrots. <laughs> Excuse me. I have a few friends already um, on the purple parrots team that I follow on Bookstagram. So that's one of the reasons why I chose that team. And purple's my favorite color, so... We got to win. We got to win. <laughs> um, also, she has a watch guide. So, yes, these are all old school movies and things. Um, they even have watch parties in the Discord. I absolutely love it. Um, just naming one off the bat. A nostalgic show released before 2005. Um, I put down King of the Hill. 
I have to watch that at least once a year, twice a year. I'm finishing up King of the Hill now. I'm on like the last two seasons. And I, of course, I put that up there as one of my shows. Um, I'm keeping track of the points because there's even a, a little prize at the end of each te for each team. So whoever has the most points gets to decide a theme for next year, which I think is so cute and reasonable and fun. So um, I'm obsessed with this, you guys. It's so much fun. So you may see little nostalgic things throughout the vlog. I'm even all up in the mood. Look, I got my retro colored shirt on. Isn't that cute? So, yes, yes, we're going to start it off, y'all. Let's get started. I hope April's going for you. We are definitely having April showers here in Virginia. It is gray, rainy, all of the above. Um, but it's also spring break, so it's wild. <laughs> I mean, as far as, like, shopping malls and where I work in a theme park, it's crazy busy. Um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Let's start this April vlog, y'all. Let's have some old school fun. Let's do it. So, back in my little studio, I'm getting ready to sandpaper some of the magnets and keychains. Um, I just want to show you what I'm using to sandpaper. This is just a um, very fine sandpaper sponge. It's very flexible, which I like. That way I can get, really get into like the little cracks and crevices of my clay magnets and keychains. So you can use any sandpaper you like. Um, the finer, the better. Um, you don't want nothing too coarse because then you probably scrape off more clay than you want to. Um, so yeah. And then I've got a just a big old paintbrush here to dust away because this is what because I've already started. Oops. This is what I've sandpapered already. <laughs> and then I use this to brush off the clay mag. Here are the babies. The ones I've completed are these, which will be a surprise reveal uh, fan art. So this is a fan art, and these are going to be fan arts. So why don't you guys comment down below what you think these fan arts will be. So this is this one. This one's going to be a keychain. And, oh, there we go, focus. Okay, that's gonna be a keychain. And this one's gonna be a magnet. Can you tell me what these fan arts will be? Comment down below. I'm not painting these in this vlog. We're gonna start with something a little more simpler. I think I'm gonna go with my oranges today. And then I've got a couple more to sandpaper and we'll get started. So that's the plan today. Also, also friends, you need a mask when sandpapering. You need something because um, once you do, um, my hands look ashy, but I promise you that is just the clay dust. <laughs> but anyways, you do need a mask because when you sandpaper, those particles get in the air and nothing belongs in your lungs except for good old oxygen. So get some sort of protective mask, open a window before you get started. So yeah.
Thank you.